Greetings and welcome to NED Talks. I'm Katherine Ford, the Program Director for Educational Development at the Minnesota State System Office. NED Talks are an opportunity to highlight and profile a Minnesota State faculty or staff member who has a passion for pedagogy and practice. It is my hope that we can share the good work that is being done around Minnesota State and get to know one another a little bit better in the process. I'd like to introduce to you Brooke Burke, Associate Professor and Director of the Center for Excellence in Teaching and Learning at Minnesota State University, Mankato. I first met Brooke last year on the System-wide Faculty Development Committee. Thank you for having me. I have a few questions to ask you, and I'm really looking forward to hearing what you have to share. Wonderful. So my first question is, what is something someone might not know about you? Oh, that's a great question. Um, I think uh, something that someone might not know about me, my um, background is in parks and recreation, and I worked in um, aquatics in municipalities and also for nonprofit uh, organizations running health and community education programs for older adults and uh, younger kids. How did how did that lead you into teaching and ultimately your role for the, the director of the center? I knew that I wanted to work with youth and I just wasn't sure uh, where that was. Um, and so as I was wrapping up my undergraduate program, um, I found a master's program that was focused on youth and human services. And so when I uh, moved to go to school, I had an opportunity um, to work for a nonprofit organization, a food bank that had community outreach. And I um, jumped on the opportunity and it was focused on education and all of the education was activity and play-based. And I then through that um, program and that opportunity, it really helped develop my passion for education. And I saw how impactful experiential learning was um, for young people and also uh, working with older adults and teaching them about nutrition practices. Um, and that led me to want to pursue um, a doctoral program where I um, knew that I wanted to be a teacher. What is something that you are involved with either at your institution or at the system level that you would like to feature relating to teaching and learning? Yeah, so one of, I would say my greatest um, passions and one of the things that I am involved in that um, gets me excited is we actually offer both an after school program and a summer camp. Um, called Reck and Read, uh, Camp Maverick Reck and Read. And it is uh, students work together to run the camp and myself and Dr. Mahold uh, train the students to offer that. And it is one of the greatest things because we are also serving low income students who have a reading and writing disability uh, within the greater Mankato area. And um, it's it's been a really awesome opportunity that started in 2017. Wow, and still going strong then too, right? Yeah, we're going to start year five um, in 2021. And so it's been a really wonderful opportunity. I've gotten to meet a lot of colleagues across campus who are interested in the program, strength and grant writing skills and all of those kinds of things and research, of course. Mm -hmm. And you get to bring your students along with you in that yeah, process it, too. Absolutely. The students are involved. Um, it's, uh, we actually offer a course now too. We developed an interprofessional practices course. So the students are getting academic credit and it's not, we're not in any sort of classroom kind of setting. And um, it's a really unique experience that is very exciting as a teacher to see students have this opportunity. Okay, for this next section, you have to do jazz hands with me. Okay, absolutely. <laughs> jazz hands. <laughs> So what are you excited about, um, either related to uh, teaching and learning, or what, what gives you energy for your teaching? I think students. Um, obviously, I know a lot of folks would probably say that the energy comes from the students, but taking an opportunity to um, have them involved um, with the courses is really important. I often learn as much from them as I think that they do from me. And I don't think um, that they often realize that, particularly um, in the Camp Maverick. I 
you know, I get an opportunity because we only have about 15 students who are helping run that particular program. And I sit down with them and, and they get to reflect with me one on one about their experience. And I make sure that we build that in multiple times throughout where they're sharing ideas. And um, my co-facilitator, you know, we remind them that we are all here learning and practicing together. And each, um, each summer, I look forward to that experience because I know it's going to be a lot of work. I know we're all going to be really tired, um, but it's so, it has a great impact on our community. And I learn so much that I can take to the next year from our students and I seeing and watching them learn and also them seeing how young people learn um, is really good feedback for me as well when we take that um, to the classroom. Well hey this conversation has totally energized me and just makes me want to have more and more conversation so thank you again so much for being willing to share a little bit about your background and your passions and what you've been doing on your campus. So again, thank you so much. Brooke Burke, everybody. <laughs> thank you.